hello everyone welcome to the com side of this course and in this one we are going to comb this all the fx passage inside nuke and this is a full deep so we will going to merge all this uh, deep layers together all these volume layers together and then we will do some you know uh, creative look there on this uh, clouds and the asteroid one so uh, currently this is the raw render which i'm playing i will show you the, all the layers we have uh, all the layers we got from the render itself and then we will dive into the nuke structure and how to do the creative side and all those things together and uh, we will make this uh, final result inside uh, nuke so let's get started so let me show you the asset we have uh, you can see i have this big box called bin and inside we have all the necessary uh, asset that that we can uh, used to do the final comp so you can see here in this side i have a camera itself i also have a one reference so this is the reference from uh, shutterstock so based on the re this reference we created the shots i hope you enjoy that houdini side how you can make this kind of asteroid render in a 3d space and these are the all the passes we have so we have one two three four five six seven seven layers we have you can see we all uh, we have a separate exr pass and separate deep pass so th this is how we do in production also we uh, we have a separate multi layer exr and we have a separate deep pass so in this case you can see all the cloud layers are uh, separate exr pass with all the multi layers if you go here you can see all the multi layers we have here and the deep pass here so we we are going to combine them together and then we will do the our comp and in this side i have a small slab comp so in this one uh, i merge all this uh, exr and the deep layer and by the way i'm using this uh, stamp tool so if you guys don't know about this stamp uh, i will quickly share with you so you can go on this website uh, this is uh, adrian's website where you can grab this stamp for free you can download from wikipedia or from github so what is basically doing is referencing your original source file so i i don't have to you know copy paste this exr because if i copy paste this exr multiple times nuke need to render all these things again and again once you open your uh, nuke project file every time so that saves a time so that's why uh, what i'm doing here i'm just uh, referencing all these things and i'm doing a deep recolor so if you have a little bit of knowledge of uh, deep compositing so to merge the 2d and d uh, 2d exr and a deep we are using a deep recolor and then uh, i in this side i have a small constant and i'm converting this from deep from image so like that and then we are merging this together like this so deep recolor and merging all the passes with deep just to make a good slap comb so we can see how the final raw render look like so here is the final raw render uh, which i'm going to play here so we will uh, going to uh, do a lot of stuff here because if I zoom in you can see there are lot of issues in the render itself we have to uh, do some uh, denoising in the comp also then it will look correct and you can see it's pretty noisy here so no worries we will fix that in the comp so this is a slab comp and this is the all the asset we have i already did a very uh, basic nuke script here i will quickly explain you what i did and then we will make this from scratch so here in this side i have this uh, sky so this is hdr from hdr heaven i guess I did some exposure down as i said we have a camera match move camera so this is the actual camera which is coming from houdini and we have a big sphere it's very big and we just apply uh, this hdr directly on a sphere and then we are rendering from scanner render and this is the output we get i oriented this sphere based on the angle so you can do some uh, rotation and it will align properly with your uh, angle of the light in the render itself and in this side we have uh, the all these passes here which uh, which i'm going to show you and again we have this one constant so we can merge all the deep layers so basically we need to uh, rebuild the beauty all right so this is the first cloud layer so uh, what i did i did on premult and i shuffle out the passes which is required let me just turn off the cc this is a basic cc i did so what i did whatever the passes we have like this one we have this albedo pass this indirect volume and the direct volume like that and we have some light passes here one two three you can see multiple light passes is appearing when the missile is coming like this you can see here we have some light information so i'm merging them together here and i'm the, i'm doing a from operation because i want to use those light passes here also so you can see and if you compare with the beauty it will look exactly the same like beauty uh, we need to check here with the pre-mult and then if you see 
it will look exactly the same like beauty so i'm doing one to one you can see it's doing the same thing and we have some extra passes here which i am not using here but i want to show you these passes also so we have this uh, more light passes and this is a beauty unshadow light pass so we can see the light is hitting but there is no shadow and similarly here we have that same passes but we have a shadow is casting right so two different thing i don't know uh, but this this thing is not working if you want more extra uh, light on your render you can use this one but i just keep it here in the side because i'm not using this one and this side we have uh, this uh, another the same render but i extracted the normal pass position pass and the depth pass and i created a one stamp here so i can use uh, directly in my comp here if i need i can just uh, select this one if i press f8 i get a st uh, stamp anchor so i can place here and then i have this uh, normal pass like that so that's how uh, the same setup is apply here and here nothing crazy and whatever the passes we have we have to merge and we have to rebuild the shader so after merging all those passes here then i'm copying the original alpha from the plate and then i'm doing a pre mod after pre mod i'm removing some passes and i'm keeping only rgb and depth pass because i don't want all those passes here if i view from pre mod you can see we have all those passes which is not required then i'm removing this process and then you have the deep and we're doing a deep recolor and after deep recolor you can keep all the passes here because we are all because we are just carrying the uh, deep pass deep pass rgb pass and depth extra which have our depth channel right like that this is the setup and it's copying everywhere and you are merging with the deep merge here all the layers are merging in a deep merge till the last uh, layer and here we can uh, do a deep to match like that and after deep to match we are merging with the sky with the 2d merge now you can see we have a sky in the background and then here are some reformat to reframe the shot like this and this is our reference see that this is a reference and this is this so we are not going exactly this way this is very like this one but we are going a little bit very uh, close to real life let's see how we can how much we can push this one let me turn on the cc this is the basic cc i am doing currently so you can see it getting little bit of blue tone so we will uh, refine this one more and this is the render view and this is the comp we have so uh, let's make this from scratch and then uh, we will see how much we can do so i will quickly show you in the site the passes and all those things so let me just uh, copy paste uh, this this let me just copy paste the uh, sky setup entirely i will quickly show you here in the site so uh, as i said i use this sky and i take one sphere like this for this sphere we need to increase the size like 10000 so it will look bigger otherwise it will look very small why i am not able to see the sphere i am not sure but it is there so uh, connect this one like this then uh, oh sorry i'm doing a wrong scale i need to do a uniform scale so 10 8 3 so like that now we are able to see the sphere here and here also i think it's too big so let's reduce that so now now after connecting this one we have to angle uh, this one so based on this one i think the, my value is 70 here uh, i think it's minus 70 yeah this side so it's almost matching you can see and little bit up like that so you can see so this is our sky basically so let's use this one so this is the sky setup with the camera input and uh, let's connect one dot and let's make a nice b pipe here okay now let's take actual render so uh, in the first one i'm using this one so let's use uh, this bigger one and let's put it here so first thing we need to do we need to do a uh, unpremult all right and we need to do unpremult all so all the passes will get unpremult and after this one we need to use the shuffle node and we need to extract the all the passes which we have in this render all right so uh, let's see how much passes we have and by the way uh, i'm using one tool uh, so you can angle this one if i press shortcut you can see it's getting this angle and this tool is called uh, this dot 
I will put uh, the link so you can download this uh, tool also. So let's uh, use this one. Let's first use Elbido. So this is the Elbido we have. Let's connect this one. We need to extract all the passes we have. I don't want to waste my time, so I can just grab from here the necessary passes uh, we need. All the shuffles I will grab. So uh, this is the Elbido pass and let's connect this one like this and let's connect this one like this. Okay, so we have this Elbido and we also have this indirect pass and direct pass. So what we are going to do, we also have Elbido here. So what, what I'm going to do here, I basically uh, did a plus operation with the direct pass and indirect pass like here. And after this one, uh, here we have more light passes. So let's merge those together then i will show you so let's let's merge and merge all these passes and do the plus operation and here also let's do the plus operation because these are the light passes so in the light passes we have to do the plus operation and then we need to take one more merge and we need to uh, remove this light from here so we are removing the light from our direct and indirect pass so we are doing a from operation and you can see it's removed this light from this pass so we are removing this one and then we are doing a multiply with the diffuse color so let me just angle this one i hope uh yeah it's a correct one so let me just cross check here so divide we are doing a from and yeah no sorry we are doing a divide multiplying yeah so after removing this one so we need to do a divide operation here so let's do the divide and then we can do a multiply with this so let's angle this one and let's press that uh, shortcut key like that let's do divide multiply so now we successfully did this operation and uh, we actually need this one otherwise it will not gonna work so let's do that quickly let me just check do we really need uh, this divide one i don't think so so we can remove this one so that's how i figured it out i think this will work very nicely and now this light path we need to add that back so what i can do i can just merge this one directly here Now, if I compare to, uh, with my beauty layer, it's now one to one match and we did a uh, basic shader rebuild with the passes we have. So let me quickly explain this one thing, then we will jump into that main one because it's the same thing. So we have this albedo pass and we have this uh, light passes here. So in the in this one, we have the bake all the light passes, but in the separate uh, section, we have the light missile light interaction here so what i did i just remove it from my actual path because i i have a separate light pass so i'm removing from here so i can have more control over it so then i'm merging with here and you can see from here to here only this light is missing so because we have separate light here so i'm just pressing here and now it is matching one to one with this one so after this one let's copy this one the actual render and press k because we need to add a proper alpha sometimes when you do these things your alpha is not correct so we need to add a proper alpha you can see this is not correct alpha 
then we are adding original alpha then we can do a pre mult here and we can do a pre mult all because in above we did a un pre mult all so we need to do the pre mult all here and you can add a remove node here or after the pre mult pre mult there is no uh, there is no certain rule so i'm keeping the rgb and the uh, depth pass i think yeah this is the depth pass so now we have rgb and if i go here i also have a depth pass like that so this much we did here and this is the whole setup here and then and then we can add our deep so let me just copy the deep from here directly so So we have this deep and we have this deep recolored. You can just connect here and now this pipe is become a deep pipe now. So whatever the 2D changes we need to do, we can do it inside here and then it will become a deep pipe. So the similarly, you can do like this one. So now uh, we can take a deep merge. Connect here and you can take a reformat and it will not gonna connect because it's require a deep input so what we can do we can take from uh, deep from image node and then you can connect this one now it will connect and why we're doing this way so we can easily turn on and off uh, all the layers like this so we are making a separate b pipe uh, for this shader rebuild and after this one you can connect a deep to image node so once we connect all the shader rebuild pathway then we in the end we're doing this one and then we are taking a normal deep one and we are merging with our sky like this and you get this result right so this is exactly what we are doing in the main comp so we're merging all the passes together and in the end we are doing a deep recolor like here and then we're merging with our sky so whatever I did in this this section, the same thing here and everywhere, everywhere here, except uh, this missile one, uh, this meteoroid. Sorry, it's not missile meteoroid. So this meteoroid, uh, we have all the passes here, and I merge all the passes, but still it's not matching with the beauty layer. If I can show you uh, with the pre mult and pre mult, so you can see some layers are missing so to get those layers what i did here i have a separate left over section here so here what i did i have this same setup here and pre mult and i pre mult all the passes here whatever the passes we have and in this in the here from view from here this is the actual beauty and this is the shader rebuild so what i did i did a from operation and this will basically remove uh, this from this and whatever the leftover we will get this and this is the exactly the pass we need so you can do a from or minus operation they are both the same if i do a minus operation and we need to switch this pipe so if you press shift x it will switch and you see the same result but i want to keep the b pipe in the, this way that's why i did a from operation so i can maintain this b pipe here and this is i did a plus here so this much is left and if i now compare from here to here you will see they both are matching exactly the same so this is how you can fix if you don't have uh, certain passes you can just minus uh, from your original beauty layer and you will get that uh, pass for you and you get that uh, left over pass and uh, that's how i did and this much we did like this so i don't want to make this a very long tutorial very long course because in the compositing we are only focusing on let me just turn on i don't know why this is turned off so yeah we have this volume light here so so we have this uh, uh, basic comp structure here and let's see how we can uh, do some creative stuff and we can do some denoising and we can maintain the range and everything in the comp let's uh, dive into that